Barbados has announced that it will remove Queen Elizabeth II as the country's head of state and transition to a republic by November 2021. This is not the first time that a former British colony has decided to cut its colonial ties. The purpose of beginning the process to finally remove Elizabeth as the head of a state was announced by the Governor General, Sandra Mason, reading a speech written by the Prime Minister. The time has come to fully leave our colonial past behind. Barbadians want a Barbadian head of state. This is not the first time that Barbadians talked about this issue. The Caribbean country, one of the more populous and prosperous of the region, has discussed renouncing its constitutional monarchy since the 70s. And now, if they finally do it, it will coincide with the 55th anniversary of its independence. Mia Motley, the first woman to be elected as prime minister in this country, believes that this decision will boost the national self-esteem. Important to us that we give confidence to our young people, to that little boy, that little girl, to believe that they can become and aspire to become the head of state of their own country. The will to see this through is happening in a context in which Britain's colonial past has come under scrutiny due to the racial justice movement called Black Lives Matter that has sparked demonstrations and controversy outside the United States. Also, Elizabeth's grandson, Harry, the Duke of Sussex, and his wife, Meghan Markle, urged the UK to reckon with the wrongs of its colonial involvement. The last country to fire the British Queen as head of a state was Mauritius in 1992. Before that, Dominica in 1978, Trinidad and Tobago in 1976, and Guyana in 1970. All a state in the Commonwealth, a loose association of former British colonies and dependencies. The Queen is still head of a state in 14 of the countries, including Canada and Australia. Barbados' announcement could pave the way for other Commonwealth real nations to renounce the monarchy. We have been independent for almost 54 years this November. And the truth is that the time has come for us to continue to make decisions fully in our own, on our own. Um, it's not a divisive decision. It's not a decision that is reflective of any break with the monarchy or any disrespect. In fact, it's quite the opposite. We have an excellent relationship um, with the United Kingdom, with um, the royal family. And uh, we believe that the time has just come for us to boost the confidence of our people. In response to Barbados' decision to remove the Queen, Buckingham Palace said in a statement, this is a matter for the government and people of Barbados. This announcement could be followed by other nations that are already questioning why should they preserve a 94 years old queen as a symbolic leader. Meanwhile, Barbadians seem to be determined to elect a head of a state of their own instead of having another one that lives 4,000 miles away. Cristina Escobar, Telesur, La Habana.